The chile en nogada is a traditional Mexican dish made with poblano chiles stuffed with a mixture of meat and dried fruits covered in walnut sauce garnished in pomegranate seeds and parsley. So a guy named Augustin de Iturbide, who was a military commander who fought in Mexico's War of Independence. And as he was returning from signing the documentation in Veracruz, he stopped in Puebla. And the nuns there wanted to serve him a special dish um, in honor of their independence from Spain. And so they came up with a dish that where all of the ingredients were, were local like the poblano chili and the pomegranates and the walnuts and uh, and it was presented in a way that displayed the Mexican flag the red, the green and the white and so the chile nogada is a seasonal dish it's only prepared during August and September um, because that's when those that's when the pomegranates and the walnuts and the poblano chilies are in season so um, let's see what one looks like Okay, so we've heard about the history of Puebla and we've seen lots of pictures. Um, the, the traditional dish that comes from Puebla is the chile in nogada. And what it means is chile in a um, walnut sauce. So if you take a look right, right here, my mother-in-law, Margarita, ordered the chiles in nogada. And you'll notice that it has the colors of flags, the red, the white, and the green. The red is pomegranates, the white is a walnut, and the green, I think that's part of it. When she cuts into this, we're going to see in just a little bit, when she cuts into it, it's going to be filled with the, with the ground beef, um, fruits, and spices. It's really, really delicious. Again, it's, a, it's considered a patriotic dish from Mexico. Now, if you ever get to Puebla, this is a dish that you cannot pass up. While we were exploring Puebla, we stumbled upon an event that had uh, live orchestra music, and uh, it seemed to bring out all the all the old timers who wanted to come out and dance. It was really a real treat. Um, I'll leave you with that.